Welcome back to the Pink Floyd Collector's News Recap. Looking back on all Pink Floyd related news for the month of October, Pink Floyd have announced that the Japan only release Atom Heart Mother 50th Anniversary from back in 2021 is getting a worldwide release. This is quite an interesting release for collectors. Uh, it's housed in a 7 inch gatefold and includes a CD and Blu ray. It's certainly the best way to get the footage of Pink Floyd performing live. The footage had been discovered by a fan and then was enhanced and was included in this package. We did make at the time an unpacking video, so check that out on our YouTube channel. And I would include a link in this video's descriptions. But yeah, due for release on December the 8th. And this will be a worldwide release, so a lot easier to get hold of than the original Japan only. This month also saw Pink Floyd upload to their YouTube channel. The documentary Eclipse, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, 50th Ningaloo documentary. So this follows the competition winners who are able to actually watch an eclipse, a full eclipse. I think it was on the northwest point of uh, in Australia. It was one of the best places to view that eclipse. It's created by Audrey Powell, directed by. Uh, so it's a fantastic watch as always. Uh, really interesting to see the fans' excitement build. And actually, a whole host of people went to this event, obviously more for the eclipse itself rather than the Pink Floyd angle. But certainly uh, 30 minutes worth watching, and it's free on YouTube to watch now. Available now at pinkfloyd.com is their annual release of a calendar. So this is for the year 2024. And graphically, this time is looking at the Pink Floyd release Animals. So heavily featured is Battersea Power Station and a certain pig named Algae. So that's available to purchase now online. After successfully performing two concerts in London, Roger Waters has now added a track by track description of his Dark Side of the Moon Redux album. So here he delves into it and explains why some of the text is being spoken as it is and his personal reflections on the original release. It's a great explanation and certainly helps explain why he's revisited the album. Uh, Roger Waters himself is now back on tour in South America. So check out rogerwaters.com if you're in that area and want to see him live. We mentioned earlier in the year that Project, the turntable manufacturer, were putting together a special edition Dark Side of the Moon release. Well, that's now available in shops. You can check out online and find out where you can visit and see demonstrations. It's retailing for $1,999. I've seen it online in British pounds for $1,450. Uh, uh, no exact numbers in terms of how many are limited, but it looks fantastic. Certainly a nice addition for any collection and certainly those who love the album The Dark Side of the Moon. To celebrate its 25th anniversary, the album by Ennio Morricone, The Legend of 1900, is being pressed on gold and black marbled vinyl and limited to just 10,000 copies. It does, of course, include the Roger Waters track Lost Boys Calling. And as far as I know, it's probably the only way you can get that track on vinyl. Uh, so to be released on the 17th of November and only 10,000 copies of those. Roddy Begower made an appearance on the BBC Two show Later with Jules Holland. He obviously discussed the Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd movie, Have You Got It Yet? Uh, Later with Jules Holland is a hugely respected musical show in the UK. The film continues to garnish great reviews and is certainly worth checking out. And we are now hearing that it is going to be released uh, on either Blu-ray and or DVD and could even appear on streaming sites soon. Rail NYC, a filmmaker on YouTube, has put together a fantastic documentary on the Pink Floyd release Animals. So he literally documents the whole process, uh, how Roger Waters came up with the idea, the Orwellian theme. This is the guy who did the documentary on Atom Heart Mother. So you're probably familiar with that and what a good job he did. Certainly worth checking out. Again, I'll put a link in this video's description. Other content on YouTube worth checking out this month is the exclusive interview by the website A Fleeting Glimpse. They have spoken to John Eddington, the Pink Floyd director, and it's a fantastic listen, actually. Some great revelations here. So check that out. Again, a link is in the description. The popular online radio show, floydpodcast.com, have dropped an episode this month called The Return, 
It sees Matt bring back the show after consultation with Pink Floyd's management. Sounds fantastic. Obviously a great listener as always. So check that out at floydpodcast.com, The Return. That concludes our monthly news roundup for all Pink Floyd related news for the month of October in the year 2023. Do please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It does help with their algorithms and get it out to more fans.